Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Vlad and in today's video, we're going to talk about TPM or Trusted Platform Module, which is a system requirement for the newly announced Windows 11. There is a lot of confusion around this requirement and a lot of people think that their systems may not be compatible because of the TPM. But I'm going to show you how to check if you have the TPM 2.0 module and how to potentially enable it. If you find this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know. Also consider subscribing to support my channel. So let's get started. I have downloaded and installed the PC Health Check app from the Microsoft website. And in this instance, the compatibility tool says that my system cannot run Windows 11 because I don't have the TPM module on my computer. There are a couple of other ways that you can double check if your system has the required module. Option one, on your keyboard, press the Windows key and the letter R to open the run command window. Type in tpm.msc and press enter. On the window that opens up, you will see if the TPM module is installed and detected and also the version number. In my case, it says I don't have a TPM module. Option two. In the Windows 10 search bar, type in device manager and press enter. In device manager, expand the security devices. If the TPM module is installed or enabled, this will show up here. In my case, it didn't. This is where I started to panic, thinking that my computer wasn't compatible with Windows 11, and I only just built it last year. So I started doing a lot of research online, and I figured out that my motherboard has a TPM slot, but it doesn't actually have the trusted platform module built in. So luckily, I found out that my processor has that function built in, which is called FTPM, or Firmware-Based Trusted Platform Module. Now, I believe this is specific to the AMD CPUs, so this process will probably not work for Intel. So now I'm going to show you how to enable the FTPM. But before we go ahead, Please proceed with caution and only if you are comfortable using the system BIOS settings. I do not take any responsibility if something goes wrong, so please be careful what you change in the BIOS. Go ahead and restart your PC and wait for the BIOS splash screen to show up. This can vary on the manufacturer of your computer or motherboard. I have an ASUS motherboard, so in my case, I have to press delete or F2 on my keyboard to enter the BIOS settings. Once you are in the BIOS settings, enter the advanced settings. Depending on your BIOS, you may be able to use a mouse to navigate or just a keyboard. Look for advanced mode and click on it. Or if your BIOS supports it, you can click on search and type in TPM. Once you're in advanced mode, go to the advanced tab and click on AMD FTPM configuration. Under TPM device selection, select firmware TPM. You may see a notice pop up, select OK. Then make sure you save and exit the BIOS to apply your changes. Once Windows boots up, you can open the PC Health Check app to see if the compatibility has changed, or you can repeat step one or two to check if the TPM module shows up on the device manager. So thanks for watching guys. 
Again, if this video has helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know. Also, please consider subscribing to support my channel. I'll catch you in the next one.